Hello and welcome to Holm Next to Sea. We're about to see something really special. Tucked away, but only a few minutes walk from the beach, the Spinney is an extraordinary house. Working for Salbies, I'm very privileged to see some fabulous houses all the time, but today I'm going to show you something that is really, truly exceptional. As you would expect with a house the size of the Spinney, it warrants and deserves a grand entrance hall like this. And nearly all the rooms on the ground floor lead off this central entrance hall. As with any home, you're naturally drawn into here, the kitchen family room. This room needs a little bit of history to it. The kitchen has been designed, built, and then fitted by Norfolk Living Kitchens as their show kitchen. So to say that this is the top of the range kitchen is almost an understatement. It is quality from the tumbled limestone tiles through to the Leconche oven. Everywhere you look, the attention to detail is absolutely exquisite. From the breakfast bar to the boiling tap, everything has been thought through to make for a practical but stunning kitchen. Then from the business end of the kitchen, perfectly separated by this little rail, we step down into the relaxing part of the kitchen. Bifold doors on all three sides, this lovely sunken limed oak in the centre. It's a real hub for what is the hub of the home. And then at the other end of the kitchen, we're into here, the formal dining room, which feels really intimate with this gantry running over the top of it, but is in fact a double height room. And then leading off the dining room, you have a choice of two reception rooms. This one is the bigger one. And actually with the proportions of this room, it would also make a really great games room because this room would easily accommodate a full-size snooker table. And then through into here, the other reception room, which the Stovax fire is another intimate room in the house. But given that it's south facing with the French doors, it's also a great morning room in the summertime. And then leading off the other side of the entrance hallway is this, the utility room. It's as big as many people's kitchens, and actually, if this house were Victorian, we'd probably call it the butler's room. And then through to the boot room, and it's a proper boot room. It's got two entrances, it's got this fabulous seating area in the centre. But what I really want to draw your attention to in this room is the exquisite joinery. Another example of Norfolk living kitchens workmanship throughout. And finally, on the ground floor, you have the room that has now become essential for any home, the office. So from the grand entrance, the grand stairs lead us up to the grand landing. And to give you an idea of perspective, look how wide this staircase is. And like the ground floor, all the principal rooms lead off this enormous landing. And now through to the master bedroom suite, and it is a proper suite. I mean, this room alone with a seating area and a king size bed, and still it feels spacious. It has its own private lobby with a walk in dressing room, and then through to ensuite bathroom. You've got the roll top ceramic bath, you've got a separate loo, and then you've got a separate shower along with a pair of really stylish basins. And then in a house where every room is extraordinary, what really sets the master bedroom apart from the other bedrooms is this the beautiful roof terrace overlooking the garden. One of my favourite features of the Spinney is this, the gantry over the top of the dining room, which seamlessly leads you into the first of the guest bedroom suites. Now, if I hadn't shown you the master bedroom suite, you could easily be forgiven for thinking this was it. Just like the master bedroom, you've got this really sumptuous bedroom area, segregated with this wall, and then you've got a walk-in dressing room, a dressing area, and yet again, a beautiful ensuite bathroom. And now guest suite number two, with its own lobby, another walk-in dressing room, little staircase, takes you upstairs to the ensuite bathroom. But the real thing about this room is that south-facing view over the meadows. And with the ensuite upstairs and a bath like that, it's perfect for a soak away from everyone. Well, we've just looked at three beautiful bedroom suites and we're now on the other side of the house. And this side of the house is all about how you want to run your family home. We've got a double bedroom and then a single bedroom linked by a Jack and Jill shower room. But from the single bedroom, which could also be children's study or snug or TV room, you've got stairs leading you up two rooms that run the entire width of the house. I've mentioned Norfolk Living Kitchens a couple of times, and that's because this house, the Spinney, is their show home. So everything has been finished to the most minute detail. And the other thing is that everything you see in this house is available for sale. So if you want a complete turnkey property, 
then this is the one for you. The spinny sits centrally in its plot. It has a wraparound patio so that wherever the sun is, you can sit out and enjoy it. The gardens are mostly laid to the lawn at the rear with a wonderful mature woodland border. To the front of the house is ample graveled off-street parking along with a three-bay cart shed. Well, that was just a really brief look at the spinny, which I'm sure you'll understand is one of the most extraordinary houses you are likely to see on the coast. If you'd like to come and have a proper look, and I really advise you do so, then please call the number on your screen now and we'd be delighted to show you around. See you soon, I hope.